This is a new aftermarket e-bike battery that I bought from AliExpress.com. It's a 48 volt 60 amp hour battery. I would like to check the 60 amp hour capacity is real or not. For that, I'm going to measure how much energy this battery takes in when I charge it. Nobody's zero percent. I'm going to charge it. So when I charge, I'm going to check how much energy it takes in to find out the real capacity. For that, I'm going to use a watt meter and power analyzer. I got this hooked up to the charger. So when I charge it, I plug it in and it will tell me how much energy went through this device to charge this battery from zero to 100 percent. So when it says 60 amp hour, that's the capacity, the total capacity of the battery. The battery only discharged 80 to 100 percent of that actual capacity. To understand that, we should know about the depth of discharge. Depth of discharge refers to how much energy is cycled into and out of the battery on a given cycle. Depth of discharge is expressed as a percentage of the total capacity of the battery. It means how much of a battery's actual power can be used out of its total power capacity. In general, most modern lithium-ion batteries have a depth of discharge ranging from 80% to 100%. In my case, the seller told me it's a 60 amp hour lithium-ion battery with a depth of discharge at 88%. That means 60 amp hour is the total capacity. Out of that, 88%, 88 divided by 60 times 88 divided by 100 equals 52.8. So when I charge it, it should take 52.8 amp. If it takes 58 52.8 then it's a legit battery if it don't take 52 or less than that then it's not a legit battery thank you now the watt meter in in between the charger and the battery the battery is zero percent there's nothing left in there so i'm going to start charging now i also put an ac watt meter here so i can figure out how much total energy it took to fully charge. The battery will take around 60 amp and the charger will consume some. So I want to know how much total energy both of them took to fully charge this battery to 60 amp. So Let's start charging now. Now it's forty three point six seven volt. It's drawing seven point seven amp. So I'm gonna leave this thing here until charges so here there's a time so it will tell you how much how many hours it took to fully charge that's the watt the kilowatt as the voltage Four amp. So I'm gonna leave it on kilowatts so I know how much total kilowatts it took both the battery and the charge. Thank you. So now it's fully charged. One hundred percent. 54.4 volt. It took almost nine hours to fully charge it. And here, on my watt meter, 
it took 52.93 amp hour 2628 watt hour so 52.993 so 52 amp hour it took 52.9 almost 53 amp hour so that's what it discharged when I ride the bike that's what it discharged 53 amp hour and it took 53 amp hour to charge it so this is a 60 amp hour battery 60 amp hour is the total capacity it can hold but it only discharge 80 percent to use so 80 percent of 60 amp hour is 48 so it is giving me 53 amp hour so it's a good battery it's it's not fake it's real and now let me check how much watt hour it took to charge fully like battery and the charger here it took 53 amp hour and uh, how much watt hour 2628 watt hour let me check here three thousand two hundred and fifty three here it was two thousand six hundred and twenty eight that went into the battery plus three thousand two hundred so let me check that how much is the difference three thousand two hundred fifty three minus Two thousand six hundred and twenty eight. Two thousand six hundred and twenty eight is equal to six hundred and twenty five watt hour difference. Alright, so after the charging my battery from zero to hundred percent, I got a reading of fifty two point nine amp hour. So according to the math, if I have fifty two point eight then it's a legit battery. So it took fifty two point nine. So this battery is a legit one.